my dear friends. Um, in this video we take a look at the um, Rolling Stone 250 all-time best whatever guitarist of all time. 250 is a little bit too much for a video so we take a look at the top 50 and I think we have enough to talk about. With number 50 and more James quite frankly I don't know him sorry guys but uh, I think he's uh, maybe he's a blues guitarist or something like that um, but I, I don't know him sorry PJ Harvey I think she, uh, 49 I think she is a good songwriter but um, she's not that great guitarist well, I have no famous riff or famous solo in my head um, she deserves be on the list but not in the top 50 Curtis Mayfield, great guitar player, great musician. Um, I love the record Superfly. And um, he's very underrated as a guitar player. And um, he's one of the many people I want to see live, but I can't anymore because he, he's gone. But um, I, I, I love his funk, psychedelic playing on guitar and he's um, a pioneer in, in, in funk rock music and um, I love I love his voice when, when, when it's getting a little bit um, intense he got, he got a, 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 a more silent voice and it's, it's it's a great musician he was a great musician and his music is, uh, is still living and Quentin Tarantino used his music in, in, in multiple pictures he made and um, I think he's now famous for, for his music using in motion pictures. The Edge is um, it's clear that he has to be on the uh, Rolling Stone list um, but um, he's not famous for his shredding double tapping solos he's more famous for um, the technical stuff behind the guitar, using different pedals, delays, echoes, phases, flanges, pitch shifters, and um, he created that uh, unique um, U2 sound. Um, uh, talking about U2, it's a very hard uh, subject for me talking about U2 because I'm, I, my little opinion is that U2 made just one good album. The Joshua Tree, and then after this day, um, made good songs. Elevation, um, even better than the real thing, or uh, Vertigo. These are great songs, but the albums where the songs are are not that great as Joshua Tree. So the Edge, well deserved on this list. Maybe a little bit too high, um, but. Um, he has to be on this list because he is a pioneer in effect stuff and um, I, I, I when, when I'm using effects I'm looking what the edge is using so it's okay that he is on this list but Frank Zappa I'm um, the same um, he's not that, that, that fast ripping shredding shred or shred, 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 shred um, guitar player but um, he is a genius a musical genius so um, I don't care um, it is a guitar list, but it is a musician list, and he is um, a great, great genius in music, and he deserves to be on the And he said in an interview, um, he don't care, uh, he don't care about um, fast playing or something. If it sounds good and it sounds right, it's enough for me, and it's enough for the listener. But he said also um, that um, at first the musician and then the listener, and. But he's very underrated as a guitarist, so um, he deserves to be on that position and in that list. Mm. Steve Cooper, I don't, I don't really know him. I think he was the Otis Reading guitarist. He was playing the um, "Sitting on the Dock of the Bay" and stuff. I don't know him very much, but um, maybe it's too high. It's my little opinion. Johnny Ramone on 44. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool to have a punk um, guitar player here on this list because um, punk players are getting often overlooked um, and 
there are good punk guitarists and Johnny Ramone is very fast and um, uh, very good playing and it's not not that that sloppy playing sloppy playing he is a great great he was a great guitar player and yeah cool to see him here and what's sad about this is um, that I hadn't the opportunity to see the Ramones live but um, I wish I could but um, yeah the music is, is still here and so listen to the Ramones and them and listen to the music. <laughs> 